as far as like you know when you came down like what was what lured what lured you as far as like making that move down here because that's that's Ohio that's that's a little that's a ride bro. no and it ain't even just because I made I done made that drive to Ohio ain't nothing even down there no offense and I love dating but as far as on the entertainment side of things you know we breed a lot of athletes. Mm. So all North Coast, shout out to Daquan Cush, shout out to my father, Jeff Graham. Like certain athletes, they just got it naturally. You know, that's just what we known to do. We are football heads, basketball heads, you know, from UD to Ohio State to anything you name it. Like we're just that type of town. So I don't know. It's just like when it came to entertainment, I just never, I always stood out. Mm -hmm. I always stood out like a sore thumb. Mm -hmm. So down here in Atlanta, it's like, I ain't going to say I blend in, but now I feel like this is my community. This is where I can flourish. This is where I can. Yes, this is for me. You get what I'm saying? And that's a good feeling to have. So yeah, I'm at home, but it's like, I'm right where I need to be. I can't explain it, but you feeling when you get here like, this is where I need to be. I really feel like I should have been here a long time ago. That's a whole other combo. I feel that. It's you, yeah. I should have been here since 28, look, 2008, but we ain't going to go there. You should have. Like, nah, because um, no, Atlanta, because a lot of people are trying to compare Atlanta to New York, right? Mm-hmm. And a lot of, of course, if you ask somebody from New York, they tell you, man, Atlanta ain't got nothing on New York. Yeah, of course they're going to say so that. So you being an outsider. Yes. What do you think? Atlanta, New York, who, I mean, what, what state has number one, which states will be number two for you? Well, you have to pay homage. And hip hop mecca is NYC. We just going to keep it one thou wow, bow wow. <laughs> now, as yeah. far as carrying the torch. <laughs> yeah. Atlanta came and showed us that, you know, you could take a culture and influence everything as well. So I feel yeah. like they're equally yoked in a sense, but I feel like New York, as far as the originator, that's the Mecca. You yeah, know, New sure, York is yeah. the Mecca hip hop. Sure. When you come doing your research, I'm yeah. weird. I watch documentaries. Y'all yeah, better watch that documentary on Netflix. Yeah. We, yeah, read them books. <laughs> yeah, so like New York is really the Mecca. I hate to say it, but that's just what it is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But Atlanta, definitely when it comes to influencing, especially in the 2000s on it, like, baby, yes. Running it, yes. But... Just like we were talking about, Atlanta is like, mm-hmm. Atlanta is a, a place where everybody in Atlanta is a business owner. <laughs> everybody. Are you sure about that? Everybody. Everybody. Are you sure about that? Everybody. <laughs> Smoking Every- mirrors down <laughs> here too, y'all. Not, but not, but not just a business owner, but a successful one. Everybody oh, yeah. is kind Everyone's of a successful one. Yeah, in their own ways. In their own ways. In their own ways. Like if you yeah. ask them, that's what they would tell you. And I never see them clock in. But they still getting money though. They be getting money. Yeah. I love it here. So when you came down here, has anybody ever tried to scam you? <laughs> what do you mean by scam? Mm-hmm. Scam me out of these drawers? Yes. The bank. Yes. The bank. Yes. Oh, give me your bank info and then oh, you yeah, know, we, I, we, I get some money dropped in for happened. you. That oh yeah, probably... when you get down here, babe, I got everything <laughs> set up for you. Don't even worry about nothing. I got you. I did file for a broken promise. Somebody told me they had a house. The house was dilapidated, y'all. So I'm like, I got you, Gigi. I got a house for you, baby. We pulled up. I said, where is the house? The house condemned. <laughs> Oh it's a tree God. shooting out the house. Where the mm. hell I'm asleep? Mm. Not in this puzzle. Mm. So yeah, I didn't been scammed in that way. A little Nashville legend tried to scam me. So I got you, baby. When you moved to Atlanta, you yeah. ain't had shit. Okay, <laughs> I was on my own again. Not this plan. But thank God for my supportive father, my supportive mm-hmm. mom. Like they always got my back. And I came down here, like I shared with y'all, with my best friend mm-hmm. and her sister. And we just thugged it out. We had a little bachelorette pad, and we did it big. Mm. You live it up. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. It's That's fast paced down here. It's it fast paced. So like, with it being fast paced to come from Ohio, was it like a, a big shock? Like, oh shit, like, it's a lot going on here? Or you was like, nah, I'm, I'm in the mix. Like, You know what? I think because I came back at the age I came back at, which was like 29, 30, I think that was what helped a lot of stuff. Because if I would have came here in my 20s, I might be having a different type of conversation with you. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my God. But yeah. because of Tennessee State... You know what I'm saying? Just the life that I lived already, like, growing up to now. Mm-hmm. You know, my father played in the NFL since I was born to about 10 years old. So I was introduced mm-hmm. to a whole lot of stuff okay, at an early okay. age anyway. So a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. really didn't phase me. Because yeah, it's yeah, like, nigga, right. I seen that shit at 10 years old. Or I went there at 10 years old, you know? So it would be shit like that going on. But besides that, like, I don't know. I love Atlanta. Like, it's just, like you said, smoke and mirrors. You just got to be aware. Do your research. Yeah. And we falling for these broken promises and these gold mm-hmm. grills. Don't, okay? Because they're going to trick you, baby. They're going to trick you right out of them drawers. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't yeah, do it for yeah, me. I would, I would definitely label Atlanta the, like the land of broken, broken promises, for sure. <laughs> for sure. But you know what? For also, sure. Yeah. Real Atlanta will embrace you. They will look out for you. Oh, yeah. They will protect oh, yeah. you yeah, when sure. you prove your worth. And I will say that. So shout out to my amazing mentors mm-hmm. that I done met so far in the game. It's too many to name from Ferrari Simmons, who's solo. Uh, Jazzy McBee to Miss Shanika, Young Jock, Shawty, Bonnie. Like, it's just so many people swing. The list go on, be easy. Like, 
solo, you know, just everybody, mm-hmm. like a part of the team. Um, even Mr. Steve, like everybody, uh, Jerry Smoke and B. The mentor list go crazy, but it's just like at the end of the day, when you align and people see your work ethic and see that you take things serious, yeah. Atlanta will embrace you and really will look out for you. Yeah, for sure. So That's I will true. say that. Atlanta, the real Atlanta. Show love in a very, very special way. Yeah, like that's that's the part that is dope about us. Like, there's a lot of hospitality down here too. Yeah, like, hospitality. Yeah, like there's a lot of hospitality. Like we yeah, show a lot of it. love down here. Like, but the thing is though, you know, that gets how would I say it doesn't get like overlooked. But mm-hmm. it's like I think I think there's another part too. People come down here, they they also see like there's another side to it where it's like the shady side. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of love here for show. It is. But you got to yeah. really. Pick apart which which is real and what's not. And you know what it is? Yeah. A little bit too. It be people from other cities yeah. that come yeah. down here because it's such a melting and pot. Then, yeah. So sometimes we'll be them New Yorkers. Oh, yeah. Or them dudes from I know New Orleans. A lot of them too. Look, or them yeah. dudes from New Orleans. Yeah. Yeah. Or them Florida boys. Or some different. Like, it don't even be a real true ATLian. It be somebody yeah. else. But that now, like, so, yeah. I, I guess I, 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 could, I could say this because I'm African. So I yeah. could say And now it's the Africans too. Like, you know them. them. We be, we ran this shit. I let it. Hey, hey, we, we doing be too much. <laughs> no, we be doing it. too much though. We Make me turn. Yeah, we be doing. <laughs> so look, I have a question though. Okay, because somebody up? was saying that um, I guess this is the part that we just know have a communication. Yes. From. So <laughs> this is um somebody was saying that you know back um back in the days drug dealers right. Yes. They used to sell the drugs and take care of the neighborhood right. Mm-hmm. But now scammers. They just be buying, buying that for themselves. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, look it up. Be like, what a turkey drive. Yeah. <laughs> what a turkey drive in the oh, Christmas yeah. carols. <laughs> so how you feel about it? Oh, do you see the same thing too? Oh, you feel like I feel like, why is you doing that and putting your life in jeopardy? And then you another black man that's locked up for 48,000 years and I can't see you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. It's just like for me, I don't know. Just do it the right way. Cause like at the end of the day. I don't know. It just you feel like they should give back? Yeah, I, mean, I feel like, like give back, like drug, but like... in the same breath, just do shit the right way. And you can give back through your LC or give back through your whatever business or brand you got going on or a team of brothers get together and do the give back or the ladies get together and do the, like find creative ways. Like why you got to be a scammer? Why you got to be a dope dealer? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my angle. Oh, uh, no, you know they, what I'm they saying? Like, the why, yeah, because that blows the you... spot too. That make the feds come watch them like, damn, how he doing a a hundred k turkey giveaway? <laughs> man, I, you feel me? That, that, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, I, yeah, I even said this last podcast, man. That crime shit is over with. It's over mm-hmm. with. It's over with. You can still do whatever you are gonna do. I ain't knocking. It, it should be a temporary plan. But, it should not be your forever plan. Nah, but it's like even the drug, Fine, even damn. even the drug, the, but the <laughs> but, for forty years. But like, <laughs> it's like worse than like the crack epidemic. You think about it, fentanyl is killing more people than we've ever seen. Fentanyl is yeah. killing people bad. Like even when, like, like Ohio, like when I went to Cincinnati and stuff, like I seen certain stuff. I'm like, what the? Very fuck? bad. In God, Ohio. God damn. Kentucky too. It's terrible. Yeah. In Kentucky. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. It's. Ter- I'm like, bro. People are dropping left and right, and I'm just like, bro. Who is putting this shit on the street, bro? Mm. Like, cause it's bad. It's bad. And like, people are losing their life, and and like these kids, like. These kids are suffering because their parents like not being there just off, off all this stuff. So I'm like, yeah. bro, why is everybody selling these bullshit drugs? You feel me? I'm to hit a lick. Yeah, I, don't know. I feel I'm like you know, that's where the money is flowing now. Mm-hmm. You know, because I feel like I feel like, and that's one thing I always say about the um, the whole COVID and the PPP loans, right? Because I feel like the PPP loans got people like people that me and you used to know that you know they will they mm-hmm. will wear like regular shoes. Wear like you know the woman oh, shoes or whatever. Yeah. All of a sudden now they're wearing Balenciagas. Dior, 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 Dior down. I'm still just... wearing Pior, baby. And your man still calling. <laughs> <Pure. laughs> your man still calling, baby. Now I'm playing. Go ahead, continue. I'm listening. I'm, I'm still in my Pior. Go yeah, ahead. So like... <laughs> Go ahead. That uh, that whole situation like that, right? Because now when people got they got addicted to their lifestyle, mm. the high fashion. Their luxury cars, like I don't know, she, people used to ride with Honda and uh, now, well, no, like hey, don't cars. do Honda now. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm talking about, okay. no, but, but now yeah, everybody they want to ride a Mercedes. Like <laughs> don't do my Honda now. Oh, no, you, you got a new got one now. She, yeah, she, she got the new one. She got the new one. Thank you. Yeah. So like now, when people want like the um, the Rolls Royces, the um, the Range Rovers. I'm like, bro, you don't have no Range Rover money. If, mm. if you like, if a window broke on that car, you can't even fix Burger, it. That shit get expensive. That's facts. That's facts. So, Benz uh, and all that. Oh my god, that shit get expensive. So people living outside of their means, y'all think that's the issue? Like, I think that's it. Keep it player. 
they and didn't then keep they, they just, I mean, it's uh, coming on the social media though. Like, just yeah. like everybody got everybody got the fly shit. Yeah, everybody on got fly media, shit. Yeah. 